This is another interesting model from the perspective of two partners getting together and making sure that they clearly understand their roles with each other. We refer to this as the rights and obligations matrix. So it's another two by two matrix. And here we have along the top row, what are the rights of individuals? And on the bottom one, what are the obligations? In particular, from party one and party two. When we have that dialogue, and I've had a number of these with, with clients, what I find really interesting is when I'm talking to party number one, they talk about their rights and the other party's obligations. Party two talks about their rights and party one's obligations. That's understandable. And at the same time, the important part is that everybody understands what's in all four squares. That happens through dialogue. The dialogue of the two parties sitting down and said, let's, let's talk about what are my rights in this, in this uh, association and you talk about your rights in the association and correspondingly what are the obligations. When that is written down and clear, the working relationship between the two parties is far smoother. Now, who could these two parties be? Those could be customer and supplier. Or it could be a department, an operating department, and a supporting department like IT. It could be in any two parties, and this all has uh, the same effect of being able to lay out the accountabilities, lay out the responsibilities, and ensure a smooth working relationship.